Be sure and stick around to the end and I'll show you my secret fishing spot. Palm Beach Paul, welcome back to my channel. It was uh, slightly windy up there on top of the bridge. Uh, the wind was blowing about 30 miles an hour. It's not much better down here, but at least I can hear myself talk down here. And uh, I'm coming to you from uh, Singer Island. Lately I've been focusing a lot on South Palm Beach County, like the cities of Delray Beach and uh, Boynton Beach. And I wanted to show you a different part of uh, Palm Beach County that I like. So uh, we're up on Singer Island, which is in central Palm Beach County. And uh, as you can see, um, the big bridge that we came over, uh, you're going over the intercoastal waterway, and then you got Singer Island uh, in the background, and uh, the fishing docks. So it's just a great place. Um, this is one of the places that I have uh, come up to many times with my boys to do some fishing because you have the uh, old bridge that you could stand on. And then as you can see coming down here, there's people fishing on the edges and you got the boat ramps, you can go out. And I actually used to come here um, when I was in my forties and a little younger, and we would take the kayak out and uh, we would go under the bridge, put the kayak in, and then we'd go all the way out here. So when you see that boat out there, we would take the kayak and go all the way down that way to a place up there called uh, Munion Island. And there's actually a reef up there and we would do some fishing out of our kayaks but uh it kind of took a toll on my shoulder so i don't get to do that too much anymore so right now i'm coming to you from phil foster park and uh it's it's a park over here on singer island it's got the boat ramp it's got the bridge it's got the dock back there it's uh been one of my favorite places to uh go fishing and bringing my kids up here over the years and i just happened to be walking by and uh, this fisherman just caught himself a real nice sheep's head. And trust me, they are fantastic eating. They're a little hard to fillet, but man, once you get done with them, absolutely delicious. So here's a little history lesson for you. The island name Singer, if that sounds familiar, it's because it is the gentleman who invented the sewing machine, Singer Sewing Machines. And uh, the island is actually named after him. At one time, I showed you where I used to kayak out to on uh, Big Munion. There's Little Munion and Little Munion Island. And on Big Munion Island, there's uh, what's left over of a, uh, actually we would call it a resort back in the 1800s. Um, I think they had mineral waters and whatnot. And people used to go out there to this resort to uh, get healthy. So, uh, which I think people have been coming to Florida for uh, a long time to get healthy. I mean, it's beautiful here. So uh, I don't see why they wouldn't back then in the 1800s, but that's where uh, Singer Island gets its name from, uh, the gentleman uh, who made Singer sewing machines. So there's your history tip for today. All right, so here's a fun little fact that I didn't know. Apparently, this is one of the best shallow water dives with a, a reef uh, anywhere. And so I saw these divers and I was asking, are you guys getting uh, open water uh, certifications? And they're like, no. Uh, it's just one of the best places to come in for uh, shallow water diving uh, with the reef and it runs all along this area back here. So we'll be definitely coming back here for another video with my underwater housing to get some footage of that. Woo. So windy out there, I had to uh, come in my car so I could uh, get some audio. Uh, I'm gonna have to look for a less windy spot. But anyway, so this is Phil Foster Park here in Riviera Beach on Singer Island. And as you can see, it's a boater's paradise. You, people come here and put their boats in to go fishing and uh, boating uh, offshore, inshore, sometimes just go over to Peanut Island, uh, which I showed you in the background there. We'll go take a closer look at that in a second. We're gonna head over to a, another marina. Um, and then you got the old bridge that you fish off. Uh, and like I said, the guy just caught a fish right here uh, off the uh, off the wall right here. That's a nice sheep's head he caught. Man, they're so good to eat. So it's a great place. There's 
uh, all the diving going on. There's the beach. Uh, there's picnic tables. People are just here hanging out. So, you know, if you're up here on uh, Singer Island and you want to come for uh, a nice afternoon to do some fishing or just hanging out with your family, I would recommend Phil Foster Park. And I'll put a, a link down in the description down below so you can check it out yourself. And the parking's free. That's it's great. I mean, um, I didn't see anywhere that you have to pay for parking, so that's a that's a bonus. And uh, I think it's probably open from sun up to sundown, like most of the county parks. So, all right. Well. Um, I have another place I want to show you, which is really cool. It's here on Singer Island and uh, uh, definitely really unique place with lots and lots of amazing boats to uh, check out. And uh, we're heading over there right now. So let's head over to uh, Selfish Arena. stuff well this is where they come they also uh, host a lot of fishing tournaments here um, obviously selfish marina selfish uh, championship coming up pretty soon and right out of this marina and uh, this is a place they have a pretty neat place so it's a restaurant and then um, the facilities all the dock facilities for uh, boating and then they actually have some little hotels a uh, little like you know rooms a little motel like in the back and uh, they fixed them up over the years and made them a lot nicer but uh, this was actually an account of mine at one time when I sold office equipment I sold phone systems and I put the PBX phone system in here for uh, them and that's how I knew that they had the hotel room all right, so it's a guy like me who loves fishing this is killing me because I'd go out on any one of these. I'd take the smallest boat in here. I don't care. This is just absolutely amazing. And, uh, well, this is where you can go when you charter uh, the big boys and go offshore for the big fish. Um, I'll put a link in the description for this marina so you can uh, look for information yourself on it. But um, all these are just individual charters, and if you got the money and the time, you want to go out and catch some big fish, they'll put you on them. fun place to come hang out and uh and it's really windy the camera's shaking but um that's it they got the restaurant here the selfish arena it's a great place to come get some drinks and food they have art uh, events on thursdays uh at least they did in the past um great place just a boat you know a boat watch people watch also the kids like looking at uh, all the fish uh the jack the bells that's one over there but um that's fun i brought my son up here many times and uh, he's always enjoyed it my wife and i've been up here for dinner so but uh anyway um, in Selfish Marina, I'll be sure to put a link down in the description so you can come check it out for yourself. It's a great place, been here for many years, and uh, a lot of locals like hanging out here. Alright, so my secret little spot, right here, you can put in a kayak. And there's a kayak in a place right next door, but I would bring my own kayak and just put in right there. And then you go out to uh, this lagoon out here, and you could fish for snook, and snapper, and jack, and everything, sharks, I mean, it's just whatever, barracudas. Um, there's all kinds of fish, and look at this. I mean, on 
MacArthur Park and that's on the other side of the bridge and you can kayak from this side and go underneath it but um, this is just a great place to come out Matter of fact there's some guys out there they're out there in their boat right now it's fishing so this is Singer Island it's one of my favorite places that I uh, I haven't been here in a while but um, I used to come up here quite a bit when my son was younger and we would go just up to uh, Phil Foster Park and fish um, and I used to come here and kayak all the time I'd get up and be up here at sunrise and go out here so uh, Singer Island's a beautiful place and uh, it has lots to do lots to you know restaurants and and uh, as far as real estate you have condos and single-family homes um, I can get you some information for that if you're interested but uh, what I'm going to be trying to do uh, this year, and by the way, Happy New Year, um, is showing you guys more of the things that I love about Palm Beach County, and then I'll mix in some real estate with that. But most of it's going to be just showing you the things that uh, make it special to me. So and uh, I think you'll appreciate that because there's some really beautiful spots here. But uh, that's it. That's uh, Singer Island, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll be sure to put a link in there. Uh, if you guys like this video, be sure to click on one of my other videos above. Um, I have some fun uh, videos about uh, uh, most dangerous inlet and uh, fishing offshore and just other uh, parks and places here in Palm Beach County. But uh, that's it. So uh, until next time, guys, when you're in the Palm Beaches, get out and enjoy paradise. Talk to you next time.